Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, Square Enix has done the impossible. They have reached 100% scaling with multiple GPU in Deuce X Mankind Divided with their latest DirectX 12 patch. Now, this is unheard of. Uh, never before have we had 100% scaling with multiple GPUs in any game in uh, DX11, much less DX12. Apparently, this update enables that. So I'm going to run a benchmark test. I'm just running over the site here. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can get all the information from the actual site itself. Okay, I'm going to show you the specs right now of my PC. So I have uh, an R9 290 and I have an R9 390 in uh, Crossfire, as you can see here. Clocked at 1080 megahertz. The memory is at 1500 megahertz. Over here, we got our memory. I have 20 gigabytes of RAM. DDR3 RAM and uh, without further ado we're going to go to benchmarking the game now Well, there you have it. This is history. Uh, this has never been done before on PC, 100% scaling, but this test confirms it, that we are getting 100% scaling on both GPUs. Uh, this game is very demanding at 1080p. I have it at 1440p, and I'm getting an average, as you can see, of 70 frames per second with a maximum of 95.2 uh, frames per second. My minimum is quite low. It's 21 uh, frames per second, but as you can see in the test, I did not have V-Sync enabled because I want to see how many high frames I could get. Uh, with V-Sync enabled, I'm quite sure that um, my, uh, my lowest frames per second would not be anywhere near that, probably maybe like 55 or something like that. I'm quite sure it would hold a locked 60 frames per second most of the time. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I ask you guys to like, share this, uh, let people know that 
it is possible to get 100% scaling with multiple GPUs in DX12 and that the first game to do it is Deuce X Mankind Divided. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.